happened here at Digital Experience leading up to CES 2011. Now I saw the Nook color sitting here. I had to come and see Jonathan, who's going to tell us a bit about this guy. It's been out since November. Tell us a bit about the Nook color. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Nook color is a product design for people who love to read, but love to read all kinds of content. Right. Books, amazing books with beautiful photography in them, color photography in them, magazines, newspapers, children's books. Right. It has full web browsing capabilities. We can run Android applications uh, through the device. But it's really intended to be a product for people who love to read. Yeah, because I mean, e-ink for all its benefits doesn't really give you that full magazine experience. You can get, I mean, you can get a newspaper article with just pure text. You can get some grayscale images and they look good, but it's not that full reading experience. I see you've got a bunch of magazines sitting here already. Yeah, National Geographic probably a really good example. Yeah, National Geographic's a great example. We have over 90 magazines available where you can subscribe or, or buy a single copy. Right. Uh, we have uh, a handful, uh, 24 newspapers available. To, where you can subscribe or buy, uh, buy a single copy. And the experience is amazing. You can see color really brings to life the equity of these magazines. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you can see the vibrant color. The LCD display, display is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, for sure. For these magazines. We have the full magazine experience uh, here. You can navigate through page by page. We have an amazing slider experience where you can get to the page you want to get to. You see an incredible image or something that you want to hone in on, like a spectacular photo. And this is uh, one of those classic photos. Full pinch and zoom capabilities, no degradation in the quality of those images. Now I understand that you guys have your own uh, software developer kit that will actually allow people to develop uh, their own application. Like a developer will create an application yeah, specific to the Nook yeah, color. Yeah, we announced uh, we announced that uh, uh, late fourth quarter right. of last year, and uh, there'll be more to come shortly on the availability of that of Very that cool. app store. Yeah. But they'll all be complementary apps that really complement that reading experience, which I think makes a lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. Right, now I understand if I'm gonna. I'm going to grab your iPad yeah. here. I understand you guys came out with your uh, new iPad app today as well. We yeah. unlock this guy here. Yeah, and one of the things on Nook one, one of the things on Nook Color that we uh, that we launched was Nook Kids, which is a customized reading experience for children's picture books. Where we have over 200 children's picture books uh, like that. And today we also launched a separate iPad app, Nook Kids that features all those picture books. Okay, so now we were reading uh, The Elephant sh Child before. Yep. Well, I can't, I can't uh, yep. do that because of the tip. angle. Yep. So now we can go back to, if we go back to the library, we can actually see. Yeah, so the library will highlight all the children's books uh, that, uh, that are uh, available. This is just a subset and a sample of all the books. So it's really focused on children's picture books, right. bringing reading to life. There are, there's a parent section, so you can have parental controls over the library, what your children are reading, and sort of control the buying, because you don't want a child right. let loose and doing that on their own. So Absolutely. a parent really wants to be able to monitor that yeah. and care, and and they care about the reading. And it also opens up the chance to have discussions about what the kids have been reading, too, which is a good thing, right? Absolutely. But we have amazing books, like, you know, classics like Go Dog Go, Fancy Nancy, Curious George, Macy. We also have a great uh, experience where, and I'll open this Richard Scary book, where not only can you read the book in the classic sense and scroll through it, but we also have a read to me feature, where if you click read to me, an audio actually of the book plays. So a kid can enjoy this, your child can enjoy this on their own, right. and really start to get into the love of reading, which has been really important at Barnes and Noble for Absolutely. a long time. And I mean, the truth of the matter is, kids will just ask you to read a story over and over and over, and they'll start repeating parts. So, you know, when they're like, you know, read it again, read it again, yeah. you're like, you know what? Just go and right. do it yourself. Or a long car ride, and you just put the headphones on them, and uh, it makes it a lot easier. So. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so where are we going for more information on uh, all the great products that yeah, uh, from so, Barnes and Noble? Uh, Feel free, anyone can come into any of our stores and a bookseller can help them with right. any of our digital products or go to BN, BN uh, or Nook.com. Okay, very cool. So for links and everything we discussed here, hit up the show notes on Butterscotch.com. Thank you very much. Right, good. Thanks.